Did you know that the same substance used to capture images on glass is the same as our 35 millimeter film and other light sensitive products? Hi, I'm Nick Brandreth, the historic process specialist at the George Eastman Museum. Today, I'm gonna to show you what goes into making a gelatin emulsion, the magic that allows you to capture images. First, we put water and gelatin into our beaker. The gelatin absorbs the water and doubles in size. Once this happens, we kick on the heat and melt the mixture. While this is happening, we create a mix of silver nitrate and distilled water. Next, we dissolve sodium bromide into our melted gelatin. Now it's time to turn on the red safe lights. As we mix the silver nitrate and gelatin bromide mixture, the silver and bromide find one another and form tiny light sensitive crystals. The crystals are only sensitive to blue light, so we can work under red safe light to ensure we don't ruin the emulsion. The mixture is added to a mold and popped into a fridge to solidify just like jello. When it's ready, we break up the gelatin mixture in a process called noodling and then wash the emulsion in ice cold water. Once we're done, the mixture is remelted and it's ready to coat on glass, paper, or film. And that's it. This process is how all modern photography materials are made. 